So I started taking glycine before I went to bed and I started noticing improvement in sleep quality. Now, I don't know exactly the mechanism. I'm guessing that it may have some type of like a GABAergic effect. I mean, I haven't looked at like glycine and GABA, but I'm assuming there's got to be some kind of connection because after I take it, I mean, I just feel like mentally, emotionally, physically, just kind of, just kind of settled. I'm going to type it in right now, glycine GABA. I don't know what you know about it, but for some reason it, it relaxes me. Yeah. I mean, I've seen lots of benefits with glycine. So collagen is one of the, the major components. One, I'm sorry. Glycine is one of the major amino acids as a percentage in collagen. So when people usually talk glycine, glycine and collagen are intimately connected due to the amino acid uh, percentile. So I love collagen and we'll use collagen and glycine interchangeably in this conversation here. So I love collagen for its many benefits. So with glycine, glycine is a major fuel of the enterocytes and the intestinal tract. So if you have any gut lining irritation or inflammation or gut lining integrity issues, glycine is a really powerful fuel source used by the gut lining. So it really helps with gut integrity. That's why uh, collagen is great or bone broth is so great. It's a major, major, major fuel source, number one. Number two, glycine is a major component uh, in making glutathione. So to make glutathione, it's a tripeptide, meaning three amino acids, glycine, glutamine, and cysteine, all right, GGC. And it, it helps with you know glutathione. Glutathione is a major antioxidant, helps with detoxification. So a lot of benefits on the detoxification side. And also sulfur many times can be used for you know helping with methylation with um, whether it's neurotransmitters, whether it's dopamine, it can be helpful in a lot of the methylating of a lot of these nutrients because sulfur is a really important compound. So those are a couple things out of the gates. Anything on GABA to Evan? Yeah, I pulled it up here. Yeah, so Science Direct had a paper on it. It was just saying that increase in glycine uh, may result in effects similar to the increase of GABAergic transmission. So it's, it's not saying 100% that glycine improves GABA, but it sure sounds like it. And then here's a, there was an article here that actually one of our supplement friends that we like pure encapsulations, they had an article here about uh, GABA and glycine. And it was saying that, oh yeah, here we go. It binds to the chloride ion channels to relax the central nervous system neurons. Yeah. And so does progesterone too. Progesterone really opens up those GABA chloride channels too, as well. Uh, a couple things here as well. There's an article in the sleep promoting and hypothermic effects of glycine. And this is in the neuropsychopharmacology article, May, 2015. You know, one of the big take homes here was the data suggests that exogenous glycine promotes sleep via, via peripheral vasodilation through the activation of NMDA receptor sites. NMDA is N-methyl D-aspartate. So NMDA, this is kind of like these you know, mechanistic pathways that are activated via, via glycine. And part of how it does it is glycine uh, increases cutaneous blood flow. So glycine is actually increasing blood flow to the brain, which is really cool.